Mom, can you pack my lunch? I'm in a hurry. Where are you going to today? There's quite a few of us going to follow Jesus. I need to be quick. As Jesus and his disciples have just got into a boat at Lakeside. Will bread and fish do? Yes, please, hurry. I need to get my sandals and go. Make sure you're back before dark. Pick your lunch up by the door. Well done, Mum. See you later. Let's head for somewhere quiet. We have had a busy few days. Look, what about over there? At the bottom of that mountain? Yes, tie the boat in that little inlet. Look, Jesus' boat has just pulled into the shore. I think it'll take us two hours to walk around the shore to get there. Philip, do you see the crowds coming? Yes, Jesus. We didn't get much of a rest, did we? Philip, I have a great compassion upon these people. They are like a sheep without a shepherd. The kingdom of God is like... Jesus, the evening's closing in. Shall we send the people away so they can buy some bread and, and get home safely? Give them bread. Master, it, it would cost a lot of money to feed all of them, and we don't just have that amount of money. Go and see what you can find. Lad, I see you have five loaves and two fishes. If you're prepared to let Jesus use your lunch, come with me. Jesus! There's a lad here with five loaves and two fishes. But what are they among so many people? There are around 5,000 men here, let alone women and children. Thank you, Andrew, for bringing the lad to me. Lad, can I have your lunch, please? Yes, Jesus. Jesus, bless my loaves and fish. It's a miracle. It has to be. Look at the loads of food in the disciples' baskets. Well, there's certainly enough food to feed everyone here. Jesus, we have 12 baskets filled with food left over. No one will go home hungry. I will send the crowds away home. You men go ahead and sail home. Mum, I'm home. Hello, son. How was your day? You'll never believe it. Jesus took my five loaves and two fishes, blessed them and gave it to his disciples. My wee lunch fed everyone. It's amazing what Jesus can do with so little. Son, just as you trusted Jesus with your lunch, you must trust him with your life too. I know you're right, Mum. Sleep tight, son. Father, I thank you for all those that were healed and heard your word today. Also, for the young lad who willingly gave up his lunch. Father, I must go. I see my disciples are in trouble on the lake. We're in serious trouble! Peter, did you see that? Oh, I'm scared. It's somebody walking on water. Are you sure? In this storm? I'm scared. Be not afraid. It's Jesus. Oh, Lord of us, you. Tell me to come to you. Come. Oh, no. I've taken my eyes off Jesus. Lord! Save me! Peter, your faith is small. Why did you doubt? Look, Andrew, the storm has gone. As soon as Jesus got into our boat. I can't believe it, Philip. We were in the middle of the lake. Now we have reached Capernaum seashore in record time. How did that happen? Wow, Andrew, that's another miracle by Jesus that we arrived back so quickly. I'm so glad Jesus saved me. Boys and girls, Jesus is the only one who can save you too. Jesus can take anything we have, no matter how small, and use it for his glory to bless many people. I have understood for the first time that Jesus has such love and compassion for everyone who seeks him. Jesus loved you so much that he allowed his hands that saved me from sinking to be nailed to the cross. By dying on the cross, Jesus took our punishment that our sin deserved. Boys and girls, you need to call like I did. Lord, save me! Mum, last night I trusted in Jesus and asked him to take away my sin. 
that is the best news I've ever heard. The Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins.